hello guys welcome to the next video on uh, qt tutorial for beginners in this video we will learn about signals and slots in qt so what i have done is i have created a new project whose name is signals and slots and first of all i'm going to go to the forms folder here and i'm going to open uh, main window.ui file now in here first of all i'm going to search for a progress bar so search for progress bar and drag and drop into your main window here and the second thing which i'm going to search here will be the horizontal slider so just search for slider and pick and uh, place the horizontal slider in your form okay now signal and slot functionality we have seen in the previous video also when i have shown you how we can press a button and display a message on your for example a label right so whenever you want to perform some action based upon some input then you can use signal and slot for this uh, action and reaction mechanism right so for example i want to move the slider and i want to uh, you know change the percentage fill of progress bar whenever i you know change or set some value on the slider so how can i do this so first of all what can i do is i will just select it and uh, you see here at the top there are uh, some uh, you know buttons you can say or uh, you know these small uh, menu items here right so first of all i'm going to just uh, select these two and then i will just choose this option which says layout vertically which is going to align these two uh, you know a uh, vertically like this so you will be able to resize them together okay now second thing what i'm going to do is i'm going to show you two ways of creating uh, the signals and slot one is the graphical way and other is the code using code right so for the graphical way you just need to uh, choose this option which says uh, added signals and slots here okay so just choose this option and then just select your progress bar and then uh you know press your left uh click of the button and then draw drag and drop to the slider okay so this is going to open this kind of uh, configure connection interface and in here we are going to just uh, say show signal and slot inherited from q widget just choose this uh, option and in here we are going to choose this option which says value changed so whenever the value of progress bar is changed then what we want to do we want to set the value on the slider or we can do the opposite so whenever the value on the slider is changed then we want to change the value on the progress bar so for doing this you just need to once again uh, select your signal and slot uh, view and this time you can just first at the first uh, point you just need to uh, select your slider and then move towards the progress bar this time okay and then just release your mouse and then once again you can see uh, many options here and the one option we want here is value change option so which is this option so whenever we change the value of slider we want to set the value on the uh, progress bar so we want to set the value on the progress bar right so just choose this and this option and then click okay and this is going to create a signal and slot connection between the slider and the progress bar and now we are going to run our program so just save all and run it and hopefully it's going to uh, you know show us this uh, signal and slot mechanism when i'm going to uh, move the slider it's going to uh, you know change the progress bar value also so you see here 
whenever I move the slider, the proportional value in the progress bar is filled, right? Like this, okay? So this is the graphical way of uh, using signals and slots. But sometimes, I will say most of the times, we want to use code instead of uh, using this graphical method. So first of all, I'm going to delete this. So I will just right click here and I'm going to just delete it. So it's going to delete the signal slots and I'm going to just go to edit widget mode here. Okay. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to the edit view here and I'm going to go to the main window.cpp file. And in the constructor, what I'm going to do is I'm going to use a method called connect. Okay. So just add this method called connect, which take four arguments. So first argument is the sender. Okay. Second is the signal. And so let's uh, give these argument one by one. So first argument is the sender. So what is the sender? Sender is the one who uh, is the input in our case. So for example, UI arrow pointer, we want to uh, use the horizontal slider as our sender, right? So just search for horizontal slider, which we have added. And then as a signal, so second argument it takes is the signal. So what is our signal? So just first of all, add this keyword which is signal which is in capital so just choose signal keyword from here and then inside the brackets we want to uh, give the signal so our signal is the value change so just write value changed here okay and the third argument is the receiver of the signal, right? So who will be the receiver of our signal? The receiver of the signal will be the progress bar in our case. So just choose the progress bar from here. And the fourth item will be the slot. So just use a slot here. And what is the slot in our case? In our case, slot is the set value to the progress bar so just write set value and just use it something like this so i'm going to minimize this code so that you can see this code uh, properly or what i'm going to do is i'm going to divide this code in two lines and i'm going to just maximize the font and now this is our connection for the signal and slot so you need to use this keyword which is uh, connect and now I'm missing some uh, bracket somewhere because when I select on the bracket here it shows me this red kind of line so I know that there is some bracket miss missing so I will add this bracket here and let's run our code once again so run it and save all and it's going to build our code and it's going to run and the same way it's going to you know behave as we have seen in the graphical way right so what's happening here so what we are doing here is we are giving the first of all uh, the source or signal so our signal is the horizontal slider here and the value of the signal is value change method so from the horizontal slider we are providing the value change signal to the progress bar which is the receiver of this signal in our case right and what property of uh, this progress bar we want to uh, change which is the set value property right so this is the sender and this is the receiver right and sender sends the signal which is the method which it calls and receiver receives the slot which is the method which it's going to perform when the sender sends the signal right so this is a simple code to use signals and slots in qt now there is one more method so 
we have connect method here so we also have the disconnect method so if you want to remove the signal and slot between uh, some uh, you know components of widget you just need to call this method which is a disconnect method so i am connecting it and immediately after this i am disconnecting the signal and slot and when i run my program let's see what happens so just compile the program and now when i move the slider the progress bar doesn't change because as soon as i'm creating the connection i'm also disconnecting them right so the signal and slot mechanism is broken by this method okay so in most of the cases you may be uh, you know able to use this kind of disconnect method also in order to break the signals and slots so i told you we were using in the header when you see this object this object we were using in order to use this particular uh, method in uh, our uh, cpp file right so that's why we were using uh, this macro in the header in the last video i have uh, explained you right so this is how you can use signals and slots in qt i hope you have enjoyed this video please wait comment subscribe and bye for now